Well, good afternoon, everybody. For those of you who haven't uh, met this week, my name is Carly Clark. I'm the program manager here at the National Flight Academy. And for you folks attending today's graduation, I'd like to say a warm welcome from the entire staff of the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation and our ship's crew aboard Ambition. We are thrilled that you guys are here to help us celebrate these AXPs, and we're thrilled, AXPs, that you have had the opportunity uh, to be here with us this week, or rather that we've had the opportunity to host you aboard Ambition this week. Uh, we are really proud of the work that you guys have done and excited that you were able to come. Excited that some of you were able to come back for a second time, in fact. And um, we're excited that we're able to be here today to celebrate your accomplishment at this graduation ceremony. So uh, to get us started, I just want to talk to you guys for a quick second and tell you um, how truly happy we are that you were here this week. Um, we at the Flight Academy, uh, myself, um, my coworker Kuda, who you met this week, all of your chiefs, all of your IOs and OPSOs, uh, Nurse Patrick Hogan, who you all have met, um, are here because we believe in you guys. We think that you guys are capable of doing great things, and we know that now because we've given you challenges this week. Uh, you guys have been hard at work in our JICs, or our Joint Intelligence Centers, for those of you who are joining us uh, just this morning, uh, planning missions, um, calculating headings and distances, and air speeds, and time en route, and fuel flow for your aircraft, and some really hard math uh, that's aviation specific that you've probably never been exposed to before. And you've also been hard at work in our JOCs, or our Joint Operations Centers, uh, doing command and control of missions, learning to be air traffic controllers, uh, learning to read the radar screens and identify your aircraft's uh, tail number and use that to aid your aircraft in uh, clearing them to land, clearing, clearing them to take off, uh, maintaining separation and safety so there were no mid-air collisions and things like that. Uh, you've also been hard at work uh, learning to fly the X-12B Triad. And for those of you, that's the aircraft that we have aboard Ambition. And so these AXPs have been um, learning to um, learning to fly and learning to be co-pilots. And they've done an outstanding job. And we know that you guys are capable of great things because we've given you challenges this week that not too many people your age ever get faced with. You have been exposed to things that uh, normal high schoolers probably never get to experience air traffic control and aviation, flying a plane, and things like that. And you guys have met the challenges that we've given you um, head on, and you've persevered, and you have um, overcome the challenges and, and succeeded together with your squadron and with your entire crew this week. And so that's why uh, I personally, after having met you guys, talked to you, uh, on day one, and I'm now excited to be up here and uh, celebrating the work you guys did this week. So uh, from me to you, thank you for your hard work, and congratulations. For those of you visiting, you'll hear us refer to the students as AXPs uh, throughout graduation, and uh, AXP stands for Ambition Experimental Pilot, and so that's how they've been living their lives with us for the past week as our experimental pilots, um, and, and we are just thrilled to have had them. And so, um, to continue on with graduation, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for today. Uh, our guest speaker is someone that we're really excited about, and I, I know that some of you have had the opportunity to um, meet him this week and chat with him and sort of get to know him, and so we're really thrilled that he's here today to be our guest speaker. We are proud to have him uh, as, as one of us at the National Flight Academy, and uh, I know that you guys have enjoyed uh, getting to know him this week. You know him as Peanut Butter. Um, we know him as Raymond Mompoint, and, and Ray um, is here to talk to you guys today um, because he really enjoyed getting to know you for one, and he feels like you guys have quite a bit in common. He's from Miami, if you didn't know that. And so, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and right now he is a student at the University of West Florida. He's studying public relations and digital marketing. So we're thrilled to have uh, Raymond Mompoint joining us this morning as our guest speaker. Good 
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, AXPs especially. Uh, I just want to say I am so proud of you guys for making it through the week. Thank you guys for, you know, bonding with me, having me as your senior chief and things like that. Obviously, like Carly said, you guys know me as peanut butter, so we'll just keep it like that for the time being. Uh, first things first, I want you guys to raise your hand if this is your first time away from home for an extended period of time without, like, parents, families, and friends. Exactly. That's about half of you guys. So I just want to say congratulations on making it through such a tough time like this. Um, for the time being, I'm just going to touch on a few things that I think that you guys should definitely take from coming to the Flight Academy and learning about this experience as you grow up, adulthood and things like that. Uh, first things first, definitely, especially with this being some of you's first time out, I want you guys to get used to being in uncomfortable situations. I know as we spoke on Monday and Wednesday, a lot of you guys were saying this is just a little uncomfortable just because you've never been away from home. The fact that you guys are, you know, 15 through 19 or so, doing something like this, you guys had a pretty early start being away from home and you guys made it through the week. My first time away from home, I was 18 years old and I was coming from Miami down to UWF. And, you know, I pretty much picked the farthest part in the state to get away from my parents and see if I could make it on my own. So I was in a ton of uncomfortable situations. I was very homesick all the time. I called my parents like every day, but you know, I had to fight through it. I had to get used to doing so because like my parents would tell me, mom and dad's not gonna be here every day. They're not gonna be here for the rest of my life, you know? So I gotta make my own experiences. I've gotta learn from all the mistakes. I've gotta learn from just growing up and going through different scenarios and different things of college. The same thing I did when I was in high school, you know. A lot of you guys already know I went to South Dade. I graduated from South Dade. I'm from Homestead and everything like that. So you guys already see how far away that is because some of you guys are in Homestead. Some of you guys are in Miami Gardens. Some of you guys went to South Dade as well. So it's just an experience that you guys are going to have to get used to, you know. So take it as a new bond, learning how you are yourself, learning how to in a sense, make new friends, and, you know, persevere through tough times. Uh, the second thing I want you guys to know is be diligent. Whatever you do from this point forward, commit 100% to it. Don't ever go halfway on anything that you guys want to do. Accomplish your dreams. Don't ever let anyone say that you can't do something that you want to do. Always, always, always press forward. Be strong. Be smart. Think about your decisions. Think about your choices. Because for the rest of your life, you're going to be the ones making those choices. So what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, with the Flight Academy, you want to fly. Fly. Fly to the best of your ability. You guys want to drive cars or whatever. Whatever you want to do, you want to start your own business. Anything of that nature. Do it 100%. Look up the research. Look up any type of obstacles that you may overcome. Look up what it takes to get there if you go to college, what kind of degrees you may need. Always have a plan and take it 100%. Always. Have some discipline as you go forward. So have the diligence, the discipline behind it. Always, always, always go 100% to continue going 100% if that makes sense. So the discipline is make sure that you keep yourself going. Keep yourself strong. Keep yourself healthy, keep yourself smart, just make sure that you guys know exactly what you want to do, how you want to get there, how you want to achieve, how you want to succeed, and things like that. Raise your hand if you guys know what you want to do when you grow up. It's fantastic. When I was your age, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I mean, I'm here now, and I still kind of have an idea what I want to do, but sometimes I think I want to switch it up every day. I went through three different major changes in college. That's crazy. But it's okay. The biggest thing that I want to say to you guys, though, is learn from your failures and learn from your mistakes. The biggest thing that I've done and learned from is going to college and basically flunking out. I went and I listened to my parents and telling me what I wanted to do as a major. And it's not what I wanted to do. So I wasn't as diligent and I wasn't as disciplined when it came to my schoolwork. 
So I wasn't giving it 100%, so I wasn't passing all of my classes. So it wasn't until I got the grades at the end of one semester and I was suspended from the university, I was like, wow, this is crazy. What am I gonna tell my parents? They gave me so much love and so much support. I can't tell them that I didn't make it, especially after spending all that money on me and sending me away from, from home. So what I did was came up with a plan. I decided on my own that I was gonna enroll myself into a different university, get my degree and come back. I didn't tell my parents anything. I was struggling for a little bit, but I had to work really hard. I worked two jobs. I did everything that I needed to to get myself back on the right track. I enrolled myself in a community college, took all the classes that I need, didn't tell my parents that I was paying for anything, didn't tell them I was doing anything. I was just like, you know, school is great, school is great. But my discipline in getting me back to where I wanted to be is what helped me succeed to this day. I learned that my failures is what made me stronger. Because until you fail and understand why you failed and how you failed, you're never gonna change. And that was a turning point for me. So essentially, I made the honor roll, got my AA degree, re-enrolled myself back in school, got my financial aid, got everything. And it wasn't until after that happened that I told my parents what had happened. They were a little disappointed that I didn't tell them, but they weren't mad at me at all. And my biggest thing was I was afraid to be honest with them. And I expressed that to them, and they were like, we're your parents. We're supposed to be your support system. If you can't trust us, how can you trust yourself? And I didn't understand that. But as I got older, I realized if I'm not being 100% honest with myself, how am I going to be honest with anybody else? So my diligence and my discipline in keeping me going, keeping me moving forward, got me to this spot. I'm on the honor roll, or not on the honor roll, I'm on the dean's list. I have a high GPA. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to be graduating in this December. College isn't always going to be easy. High school is, is for sure not easy. But until you guys understand what it is that you want to do and how you want to get it, you're never going to succeed. Always have a plan of action. And once I'm finished, I'm probably going to go back to Miami and join the fire department. I'm already in the process of doing so right now. So what I want to tell you guys, definitely, it's okay to fail. You may get your progress report, you may get a D, you may get an F or things like that, but only you know why you got that grade. Always learn from your mistakes. And once you fail, understand why you failed and pick yourself back up. Because unless you pick yourself back up, nobody else is going to help you pick yourself up because they're not going to know what you're going through. Have faith in yourself, trust yourself, and be proud of yourself no matter what it is that you do. That's the biggest takeaway I want you guys to have. I believe in you 100%. I've seen you guys throughout the week. You guys made me so happy and so proud with the hard work that you've done. I wish that I can go back with you guys just to see how you guys do after this fact. But just know, just because you guys are gone doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to lose communication. Keep up the good work, you guys. I trust you guys to do the right thing. I trust you guys are going to be strong and very, very successful individuals in whatever it is that you guys may do. Be yourselves, enjoy your life, be strong, be successful. Thank you, guys. All right, folks. One more big round of applause for peanut butter, and thank you very much, Ray. All right, folks, I'm going to invite Peanut Butter to join me downstage while I introduce to you the chief of the Fighting Checkmates. Um, before we do that, though, I want to just encourage you guys to take as many photos as you like, uh, cheer these guys on. Uh, if you're joining us on Facebook Live, uh, thank you so much for helping us cheer on these students. And uh, after we conclude the graduation ceremony, uh, hand them their certificates, and they've earned their wings of gold. Uh, shoot them a call or a text message if you're at home watching on Facebook and tell them congratulations and how excited you are uh, for all the great work they've done this week. Uh, so as we begin, I'd like to introduce uh, Chief Turtle with the Fighting Checkmates.
Hi guys, I'm Chief Turtle with the Checkmates, and um, I just wanted to say that this week has been an amazing experience with my group. Um, I was with them every single morning. I even stayed late one day just because I loved hanging out with them so much, and I think that they have grown so much as a team and how they cooperated with each other, and honestly, it was just a really amazing experience for the both them and me, and uh, we have a lot of inside jokes, so ask them about them. Unique Powder Puff Bridges. Giovanni Frames Carter. Giorgio Wipeout Draymond. Joshua Dash Boston. Leonardo Orange Fernandez. Anthony Kix Gonzalez. Chanel Star Hester. Fedeline Sleepy Julian. Maya Jagger Lee. Salar Doc Roberto. Sammy Switch Simeon. Fernando Sparky Ugalde. Marquise Smalls Veal. Now introducing Chief Wavy with the Fist of the Fleet. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Wavy, and I had the pleasure of being the Chief for the Fist of the Fleet this week. I just want to say that this is an amazing group. I appreciated their energy and focus throughout the week, and I'm going to really miss you guys. So, let's get them graduated. Up first, I have Summer Baby Driver Day. Michaela Nihoimanoi Ellison. Alejandro Blaze Flores. Jakia Pom Pom Francois. Natasha Lifeline Gant. Melody Wanda Lozano. Micaiah Barbie Mills Carver. Little, little, little Lee Moore. Brian Flash Patino. Fabian Snickers Presswood. Jacqueline Periot Presswood. I mean Romero. DeAndre Ripple Roseberry. Up next, I would like to introduce Chief Gidget with the Jolly Rogers. Hi everyone, um, so Chief Houdini couldn't be here. Uh, Houdini and Waddles are very proud of this squadron. I know that just by being on the ship around them, they had a lot of energy. They were just great people to talk to and I know they'll go far in the future. So up first we have Korea Latte Bryant. Jose Space Jam Castillo. Jennifer Thumper Espinosa. Alexander Reaper Gonzalez. Lysha Cosmo Lopez. Jacob Casper Maravilla Venegas. Stephen McFly Nembard. Sheila No Name Perez. Jayshana Little Red Richardson. Mariana Teacup Sanchez. 
Tyrese Waffles Williams. Rodney A1 Wimberly. And last but not least, Fatima Grimm Zamora. Now I'd like to introduce Chief Sassy with the Argonauts. Good morning, everyone. I had the absolute pleasure to be the Argonauts Chiefs this week. Guys, you guys did amazing. Like Chief Gray said, do not let anyone tell you that you cannot do anything because you can. And I see the friendships you guys have made as a team, and they will go beyond this, and I really hope they do. So let's get you your wings of gold, guys. All right, Deborah Ginger Alvarez. <laughs> Stephanie Glee Ariano. Desiana Chicken Bocino. Jamal Clarence Bowley Brownlee. I need to put this in front of me. Michael Air Force Castillo. Ryan Angler Garcia. Jacory Swag Gooden. Joanna Joy Guandique. Marcus Guib Hernandez. Willander Prince Jules. Derek Spear Munoz. Yeah. Othniel Splits Roden. Steven Bands Up Roper. And Elijah Tasty Tyson. Next up, we have Chief Krispy Kreme with the gauntlets. Good morning or afternoon. So first off, you guys out there, I want to go ahead and congratulate you guys for finally making it through the week. Out there, it's been a great week with these students. Out there, I really, I'm really going to miss them. They were my first squadron for over about a year and a half to two years. So I'm going to leave you guys with one quote. I am not the greatest at everything, but at everything I try to be great. Remember that, okay? So, you guys, we're going to start off with the Powerpuff Girls, all right? So, we got Yasleen Blossom Almeras. Verlise Buttercup Tavares. Jayla Bubbles Cruz. Rebecca Pitbull Valle. Erica Three Stacks Delgado. Sebastian Goggles Emmanuel, Jasmine Honey Francois, Jamel Rundown Green Jr., Armando Bands Hernandez, Daniel Rocky Kemp, Yurini Nanny Lopez Alras, Lisa Caution Masu. Estefania Sugar Ortiz and Sasuke Stitch Presswood. Next up, we have Chief Pop Tart with the Royal Maces. Hello, I'm Chief Pop Tart, and I had the pleasure to be the Chief of the Royal Masons. You guys did really great. You guys are the great team of CAC 6, and I'm going to really miss you guys. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to graduate? Yeah? All right, come on. Tasha Snow Arnie. <laughs> Melody Triple Threat Caliro. Alejandro Coco De La Cruz. Adriana Ping Pong. 
Esther Lim, <laughs> Vanessa Pepsi in the keys, Sandra Pepsi, yeah, Sandra Coffee Marvia, Free Sub Zero Mighty, Moses Golden Morel, Manuel Mystic Padilla, Magalia Skirts Raymundo, Dante Anti Starks, and Jaquita Mello Warren. Now back to Carly Clark. Congratulations, AXPs, you've graduated. I hope you guys are as excited as you seem like you are about all the work you've done this week. And uh, folks who are here joining us, uh, I hope you guys are as excited as we are to be celebrating these guys. And so. Uh, thank you one last time, uh, AXPs, for uh, everything. We truly feel like you earned your wings this week. Uh, and before we conclude graduation, uh, I have one individual that I would like to honor specifically. Um, every deployment, we award one AXP um, the honor of being our AXP of the week. And uh, that person is somebody who has just exhibited exemplary uh, character, exemplary work ethic, um, who has been a great leader, who has been um, conscientious uh, to his or her chiefs and IOs and OPSOs. Uh, this person is always someone um, who stands out to the, to the crew, to the chiefs and, and the facilitators uh, as someone who should be recognized, who deserves to be recognized, um, for the extra special effort they went to, um, to to do an excellent job this week. And so uh, this week, our AXP of the week, I am very pleased to announce, is Elijah Tasty Tyson from the Argonauts. <laughs> Elijah is going to be taking home a, an Ambition Ships coin, as well as, if I can get it undone, this Blue Angel poster, which here, I'm going to have you come over here and hold it for me. I like to shout out my radar 053, my cousin Rodney. Ooh. <laughs> And Jamal and Jamel, Steve, I didn't forget about y'all. Yeah. Gauntlet Zero Argonauts, you feel me? With the with the G. Best, best one, you feel me? All right, big thanks to Elijah for an, an extra specially great, great job this week. <laughs> All right, folks, as we wrap up, uh, the students, the AXPs, will be returning with their chiefs back aboard Ambition. That's where all their luggage is staged. Uh, they will be going over there preparing to um, be checked out and to board uh, the bus or whatever transportation um, you all have for them. And we will need each of you chaperones uh, to come aboard with your photo ID. Be ready to sign them out. You can sign them out with each of their squadron chiefs and uh, be ready to go. AXPs, please make sure that you have all of your luggage. And if you have not yet picked up all of your medication from Patrick, I ask that you swing by sick bay and please pick that up before you leave. Uh, one last time, AXPs, congratulations for a job very well done. We hope to see you again 
Have a fantastic um, rest of your school year and a great summer. We hope you leave us right now today with perhaps a little more ambition than when you arrived. Congratulations, AXPs.